What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 19 Valencia career mode here. We start off this first video with uh, it's a weird one. It's a bit of a surprise here because I've noticed that Gonzalo Guerez here, the number 7 from Valencia in real life, is not on my team. And as you can see here, I checked the transfer list, shortlisted him. He's still at Juventus, or sorry, a Paris Saint-Germain for some reason. And I have no idea why that is because some we have Batshuayi on loan and we have some players on loan as well. So I thought that it was all like fixed and it was all correct, but apparently Guerez is uh, still at PSG. So um, we're gonna wait for the scouting report to come back and hopefully we will be able to re-sign him again. That's so weird having to re-sign our own player, but. I guess that's the way it is and uh, we have a pretty good transfer budget right now so I feel like we will be able to do that but the first game here is against Real Sociedad and we did get off to a good start here as Batshuayi gets onto the header here and scores his third goal in La Liga to give us the lead really early on to this match and from 20 minutes in Neto we play out from the back it comes to Batshuayi here he holds it up plays it to Ferran Torres who runs and runs and runs and passes it to Daniel Vaz and Daniel Vaz with a clean, cool finish, and he does give us the 2-0 lead here. Really early on, 23 minutes into the game, and that was a really, really good counterattack. Playing out from the back and going all the way down to score is one of my favorite ways to score a goal. It's just such a, it's, it's so nice to do that kind of counterattack, but Daniel Vaz does finish off the nice counterattack with his third or second, second goal of the league. And um, a few moments after that, Sherishev gets onto the ball here. A lot of counterattacking from us. Real Sociedad just cannot cope with us, and Daniel Vaz goes ahead and gets his second of the game, third of the match here, and half an hour in, we are 3-0 up, 10, uh, sorry, a goal every 10 minutes, and we are just, we are just destroying Real Sociedad here, who I wanted to start the career mode with, uh, surprisingly, we got some pretty good players there, but I ended up with Valencia and uh, quite happy with the decision because Valencia got some really good players but a mistake at the back here gives the ball to William Jose passes it to Gentner it comes to him he shoots but Neto makes a really really good save and keeps his clean sheet so far and from that corner kick which is eventually crossed in it comes to Iliara Mendy and his shot just goes out wide and out for a goal kick. So Real Sociedad trying hard for a comeback here and take a look at this. Neto accidentally gifts it. It comes to William Jose. He gets a touch onto the shot or from the shot but it still ends up in the back of the net. I'm not sure why this happened. Um, I just pressed X to pass it. I, I don't believe I passed it. I held X too long but he shoots it out to the Real Sociedad players, it comes to William Jose and he has a pretty easy finish and uh, no time for a comeback sadly as uh, we do take the win 3-1. Not a lot of stuff happened in this game but uh, for the chances that were in this game they were well taken and uh, 4 goals in this one and we take the 3-1 lead and we see that uh, Ezekiel Garay gets a injury here and he's out, gonna be out for 2 months. <laughs> Which is, uh, it's it sucks, but you know, it's we have a lot of good defenders here under reserves and the substitute, so we should be fine. And as you can see, two of our players are in the uh, Player of the Month shortlist. So Daniel Vaz and Danny Sherishev are both in the shortlist, which is always really, really nice to see. And uh, at the end of the episode, you'll see who actually won the Player of the Month. But uh, the second episode, or sorry, the second game of today's episode did come against Manchester United here in the Champions League. First chance would come to them as Alexis Janches does stand over this free kick. He shoots, but it just goes over the crossbar and doesn't really trouble us. And it stays nil-nil five minutes in. And then Andy Herrera, the ex-Man United player, swings in the ball. Santimina hits the post, but it comes to Carlos Soler. And he gets his second Champions League goal in as many games here and we get off to a really really good start once again in the Champions League. 20 minutes in, 1-0 to us and Carlos Soler has just been, he's been on top of everything in the Champions League. Not, not getting the goals in La Liga, getting the assists in La Liga, but he's getting the goals here in the Champions League. And he gets his uh, first one of this match, second in total. And then Manchester United come back here. Here's some bad defending by me. Is I thought Juan Fran was going to take the shot. I go down. Neto makes a brilliant save, but we cannot clear it. Falls to Pogba, and he just taps it in. So quite a frustrating goal of that one. Uh, Manchester United level 35 minutes in. And um, that was just that was bad defending by me. That was really good save by Neto, as you see in the replay again from a, a really really close shot 
um, from Paul Bugba right here. Bang, but uh, I believe it's Mario. Wasn't able to clear it, and Pogba does tap it in, sadly. And uh, Manchester United are level here. And uh, we come on a counter attack here as Rodrigo plays it to Soler. We have a good chance to take the lead here. Bentacor passes it to the X Man United player, Ander Herrera, but David De Gea makes a good save in denying the Spaniard. And um, Manchester United would come here again. I thought I had uh, it cleared here, but it comes back to Alexis Sanchez. It crosses into Juan Mata. Neto makes the save, but sadly. It bounces off his back right after he made the save and it goes into the back of the net as an own goal here so really really unfortunate as you see here in the replay um, with Gabriel Paliste I believe I thought I had the danger cleared after I took the ball from Alexis Sanchez but um, sadly he went and robbed me so that was some that was some bad defending I could have done better there but sadly not um, Alexis Sanchez does steal it here and uh, Really, really unfortunate to concede this goal here. Sadly, it came off Neto and it goes as an own goal. And Lukaku takes a shot here. Neto makes a save. He comes back and makes another save. So Neto really keeping us in it. He is super, super underrated. He makes some really, really good saves. And um, you should really pick him up. He's quite cheap too. And we come here on the counterattack. 83 minutes in and it's Carlos Soler. That man in the Champions League. Carlos Soler does tie it up for us. He gets his third goal in two games in the Champions League and this man is just on fire he cannot stop scoring in the Champions League and uh, if we can make him the top scorer in the Champions League that will be absolutely great I thought it would have been counted as Daniel Vaz's goal but he tapped it in right after the ball went over the line so the goal does go to Carlos Soler and uh, as you can see the game does end in a draw so it ends in a draw like in real life except this game was just so much more entertaining and uh, too bad we couldn't come out with three points, but uh, that's four points from two games, so not a bad start in the Champions League in a tough, tough group here. And the final uh, game of today's episode did come against Barcelona. As you can see, they're 19 points, we're 16. The winner takes first spot. So this is a really, really big match here, and it comes to Batshuayi. Silicon makes a good save three minutes in, but from that resulting corner, it comes back to Batshuayi who scores a thunderous header and he makes it 1-0 to us really really early on and as it stands right now we are taking first place here and um, yeah, it's a must win game for both of these teams Barcelona if they win they extend the gap at first place to 6 points but if we win we go level on points but I do believe we'll be the ones who go into first place so you know it's a must win for both teams and uh, luckily for us we get off to a flying start and uh, 22 minutes in we try to get our second goal of the game it comes to Rodrigo but his header sadly goes over the crossbar really really close chance there but sadly he couldn't make it he couldn't give us the 2-0 lead and Condobio would play to Rodrigo here in the second half it comes to Batshuayi it's a really really easy finish for Michi Batshuayi and we take the 2-0 lead here 50 minutes in so we are sort of cruising here Barcelona we're, weren't really giving me too much of a trouble here too much of a challenge and um, Rodrigo then passes it to the wide open Batshuayi and he gets his fifth goal in La Liga I do believe yep there's confirming it five goals in La Liga and then Barcelona obviously furious trying to get a comeback here comes to Coutinho but Neto makes a really good save here and Barcelona once again on the counter attack take a look at this what I thought would be a really easy clearance Neto takes a massive touch comes to Messi but good uh, luckily for us he misses a good chance there stays 2-0 and uh Rakitic plays a really nice ball here to Jordi Alba and take a look at this shot from Jordi Alba the Barcelona left back coming on the right hand side which is surprising but it doesn't really matter they get the they get the goal to try to inspire a comeback here it's a really really good goal from um, Jordi Alba and I love this replay here the 360 as my phone goes off in the background the 360 camera I do believe it is looks so so nice on some replays and it looks nice here as Jordi Alba top left corner gets his third goal in the league I think so he's banging in the goals for Barcelona and PK makes a really big mistake here right before the end of the match he comes to Daniel Vaz it hops up to Santi Mina and his header finds the back of the net off the post 3-1 to Valencia and that pretty much secures the three points that pretty much secures top spot for us 
but uh, it's 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 not going to be easy. We are still level with Barcelona, so we're going to have to keep winning the games if we want to keep competing with Barcelona for that top spot here. But Santimino with a good good header, he makes it three 0 or start three one to us to secure the win here, as you will see in the final clip that secures it. And that was the final game of today's episode. So a really really good entertaining episode in my opinion. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. But anyways, uh, that will be the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Here's the player of the month. I am so angry about this. It should have been Daniel Vaz. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another episode of my Valencia career mode here very soon.